Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for July 19th, 2024. Well, I hope everyone had a good rest and ready for another wild and crazy day in the market as we open up here on Friday. How about we take a look at what happened overnight? Well, first off, here in the United States, um, CrowdStrike is having a major problem, um, and it's creating outages, outages and problems all around the world. Um, um, airlines having significant problems, uh, medical offices having big problems, banks um, having problems as this CrowdStrike um, um, issue kind of uh, moves around the world. It's starting to bounce back. CrowdStrike says that they have a fix and they're working with customers to try and get things back up. But obviously it is having ongoing impacts here for uh, the morning. So kind of keep an eye on that. If we take a look at what happened um, overnight. We had Asian markets mostly lower last night. As a matter of fact, uh, the tech heavy sector in Hong Kong um, had a rough night down uh, 2.03% or 360 dollars and 73 cents. Um, the only um, index that had any gain at all was Shanghai and it was up uh, a whopping 5.18 points. So kind of um, a rough night in Asia. If we take a look at European markets, European markets are lower across the board this morning with the DAX being down 113 FTSE only down 3443 uh, and CAC being down 3507 so um, a little bit of um, an issue um, still going on there as they continue to you know um, deal with that ECB decision not to cut rates and uh, disappointing investors over there. If we take a look at um, U.S. futures, we are down across the board this morning, but it has improved just slightly from overnight lows. Um, and um, S&P futures are, are just barely lower, so nothing... Um, you know, nothing super surprising. And after such a strong rally to the upside, a little bit of pullback is um, to be expected here. If we were to take a look at what's going on in oil this morning, well, oil continues to be a little bit lower with um, oil futures being down 27 cents a barrel at 82.55. Brent being down 21 cents a barrel at 84.90, and natural gas also falling again this morning, down um, almost three cents. So when we take a look at UNG, we're not getting much improvement there. However, if we take a look at XLE, the energy sector, those oil producer stocks have still been holding up really quite well. And I think any rest or pullback in there could set up an opportunity long, but we'll have to keep an eye on that. This morning we have a major change here. Bonds are rising this morning and that is creating some strong selling here in gold um, this morning. Gold at the moment down $41.60 an ounce, pulling back into some support and possibly that trend. So nothing technically has is a is a major problem here just yet. We'll see if that trend continues. As a matter of fact, if this can kind of hold, we're probably in pretty good shape. But we've got gold, silver, copper, platinum, and palladium lower here this morning. As a result, we've got um, the dollar moving higher, which of course has got. Uh, bonds pulling back uh, this morning. So a little bit of a shift here um, and probably a little bit of fear starting to come up in the market. Cryptos this morning, um, it's interesting. We've got Bitcoin up $514 a coin. But what's interesting about that is just about everything else is down. So we'll want to be keeping an eye on that Bitcoin trying to hold up here today. 
if we take a look at those bond yields, well, here's our problem. And the two-year bond is at 4.48%. I think that's the highest so far, uh, highest mark so far this week. Keep an eye on that. The 10-year has moved up to 4.2% excuse me, 4.21%, and the 30-year is at 4.42%. So keep an eye on those numbers as we progress through the day. So what does all that mean? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here today. I truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts, see if we can gain a little information about how we want to approach the market for today. Remember, we want to shake off that bias. We want to look at the charts for what they are, not for what we want them to be. So first off, if we take a look at our diamonds chart here, well, that was a pretty rough day yesterday. We uh, zoomed up um, early on, and I, I kept saying at any time, be prepared for some kind of reversal in the market. We certainly got that yesterday with pretty substantial selling, and now we're getting just a little tiny follow through here today. There's no way to know if we're going to gap down and then just turn around and zoom right back up here on Friday. But if we do get some follow through selling here to the downside, notice we don't have really any good support here in that daily chart. Perhaps we could come back and test the low of that big candle. And if we slip down through there, well, we've got some gaps in here that we might be able to to uh, test a breaking down below there we've got another gap and that brings us back to this major um, support or this breakout area in the diamond so keep an eye on that if those bears were to really push here today if the bear or bulls find inspiration here today well then there would certainly be that opportunity that we would push back up and i think I'd be looking at the bottom side of that candle first, and if we can pass through there, maybe the bottom side of this candle here has resistance in the chart. And beyond that point, then I think we've got that chance that we're moving up here to test yesterday's open and see if we can resume this upside here in the diamonds. Now, taking a look at our SPY, by the way, overall, Yesterday was a painful day, but overall, this is still a bullish trend. So um, one of the things that happens is when we get really carried away like we did this week and go into a parabolic move in the market, well, then that pullback can be pretty painful. And um, But overall, the trend here is still bullish, so um, don't get you know, into that idea that the sky is falling. We, we're not seeing that yet. If we take a look at the SPY, SPY, a little bit more pressure here, as you can see the SPY moving um, and breaking that support here in the chart and moving down yesterday below, though at least the way I have that trend drawn. What's gonna be critical here today is how this follows through. If this were to follow through onto the downside, well, I would be looking for some of these levels um, down here lower that could really raise some concerns here in the market. Um, you'll notice that there's not much in here for price support until we come all the way back down into there. And then if that were to break, I'm suggesting probably down into here is where we'd be looking. Now, if we can get a little bit of a relief, I think there's every reason to believe that's possible, a um, little bit of relief in the chart. First thing we need to do is retest this resistance and that downtrend to see if we can push through. Breaking through there, we might look up into here and then of course that possible gap fill back up into here before we start stretching out for all time highs again in the chart. But one thing I wanna caution on, anytime we break a support and break a trend, be really careful with the rally back because the rally back is what can create that lower high and then we start rolling to the downside. 
here in the chart. I'm not suggesting that's going to occur. I'm just suggesting it is something to be paying attention to and watching. If we take a look at our QQQ, well, our QQQ even a little bit on the rougher side. We did have that follow through yesterday to the downside, testing this area of support. We want to notice that we um, broke our trend here in the chart and we did leave a pretty substantial gap behind in that trade. So if the bears were to find follow through inspiration today, we've got some support right in here we could retest um, we stretched down there yesterday intraday um, and then bounce back up we could test that again and if we drop down through here though i think the big worry would be if we start slipping into some of these gaps that could really raise um, a little bit of concern maybe some fear in the market um, before we start testing some bigger levels of price support in the chart so if the bears really get going those are some of the levels i'd be watching for if the bulls however find inspiration today to bounce back up and this is a pretty good area to be bouncing off of off of this price support then we would start looking for that retest up in here to see if we can test the highs of those candles test that resistance level up in here and if we can pass through that test the high of that big old black candle right there to see if we can break through and then we're into this gap to see if we can stretch on up and fill that area before maybe trying to progress through and trying to resume that upside trend here in the QQQ. But also, once again, reminder, break of that downtrend, uh, excuse me, break of that uptrend, break of support, any rally back up here that fails could set up that lower high and really start raising some overall concerns in the market. If we take a look at our IWM, IWM really enjoyed this major parabolic run to the upside as this rotation um, happened in the market. And I think the rotation could still be underway and could, could continue here in the market. So don't be too surprised if we see um, um, that rotation continued to put upside pressure, uh, particularly on the diamonds and the IWM. But watching that carefully, if those bears were to find additional inspiration, notice here yesterday we tested the top side of that support. We did fill this gap. Next level down, I think, is probably right in here. See if we can test that. And beyond that point, we start looking at some of these other gaps here in the chart as we would progress to the downside. Now, that would take a pretty strong bearish move. Is it possible? Yes. Um, but I don't know if, if, that, if that rotation continues and we don't have any major problems here today. Um, I would look for some support in this area here. Um, if the bulls, however, find inspiration, push back up, well, first thing we'd want to do is test this resistance. I've got that um, area up here, and you can see we're pushing into, uh, we've got all of this congestion here, and it's about a year's worth of price action congestion in that chart. So pushing back up maybe to test the lower side of that to see if we can break back through into this zone up here um, in the chart and if we do break back through here maybe we start pushing back up and testing some of these areas uh, in the chart and then trying to catch these tops here again um, in that operation remember in all of these charts i didn't show the uh, the potential that they could just go sideways and after a big parabolic move like that remember we have three ways the market moves it can go up and down but it can also go sideways so we can consolidate here for a while which would really be a healthy thing for the market to do if we take a look at our vix our vix well, our VIX um, showed us a little bit of fear yesterday, kicking up here. And as I've mentioned, it's not a big deal um, on that first move. C certainly, it might have been painful for those that have been chasing into stocks already extended. But um, where the real concern will come in is if this rests or pulls back and we end up holding a higher low in here someplace and then we see those bears following through that's where real selling can begin if you look at this process over here um, in the chart where we kind of broke out of this range 
and pushed up, it's that higher low where the real selling can come into the market. So watch that carefully here. Um, rest or pullback is every reason to believe those bulls will have that energy um, to rest or pull back here. Um, and um, we'll have to see if they're strong enough, however, to push this all the way back down. That's going to be the question. So watch carefully there on the VIX over the coming days in trading. If we take a look at our T20s, our T2122 indicator, well, um, we had a, uh, that big fall. Um, we have been pinned up here for a few days in an extreme overbought situation. And well, yesterday the uh, dam broke and we saw some selling come into play. What you want to make note of is we finished just a touch below 50%, which means we have pretty close to an equal opportunity here for the market. If the bulls find inspiration, um, we've opened up that upside opportunity. If the bears find inspiration, well, we certainly have more downside possibility here in the chart and easing some of that parabolic move. So about an equal opportunity here in T2122. Looking beyond that, our uh, T2108, well, T2108, as I had mentioned, big change here, huge. And we were reaching up here into this very frothy area of T2108. And you can see we found that resistance up here and pulling back, but I don't see any major problem here. We've got plenty of potential for some support levels in here. Um, this would be a natural pullback in the market after such a major uh, meteoric rise. Um, would be no surprise if we rest in here a little bit more or pull back chart. The, the real fear would come in is if we take all of that that big rally out of the market all of a sudden as quickly as we put it in that that would really um, raise some concern here but overall we're in pretty good shape and if you notice here that trend break here in the chart even a rest back into here holding some support doesn't really hurt us at all in fact it would probably be a very healthy thing for the market to do our uh, t2107 same thing we hooked over and as i was mentioning we are up here in this very very frothy area of the market probably needed a little bit of rest to pull or pull back you can see we've got that trend break in here so even a pullback or rest that comes back into here or maybe even a little bit lower really doesn't hurt us and once again would likely be a very healthy thing for the market to do our t2101 well we have been struggling um, with breadth um, dramatically here in the market for a long time and then man it just just a zooming move and we might be seeing a little bit of weariness here on that upside move and that little bit of pullback would not really hurt us um, at, at all it might be um, a nice healthy um, relief to see us just consolidate and rest a little bit here in the market so watch carefully we're hooked over here might see that breadth start to to decline just a little bit as a little bit of rest and every and the market kind of takes a breath let's take a look at our um, economic calendar here for today now our economic calendar we've got a very light day so this gives the bulls an opportunity here with not much information here coming in to really create any major issues. We do have William speaking and Bostic speaking. There's a Baker Hughes rig count, but it's not like major news reports um, or uh, things that could really be super concerning here in the market. However, these outages and the crowd strike situation, um, it depends on how long that persists and how long that problem goes on. That certainly could have um, um, impacts on the market. So watch that carefully. If we take a look at our earnings calendar here for today, well, we've got a pretty good group of earnings. I'll run through these really quick this morning. All of these reports are this morning. We're going to hear from AXP. It looks like we got a little pop and drop going on right now in AXP, but that has been incredibly bullish here recently, running up. Um, 
tapping out through all-time highs. So watch that carefully, how we react to this earnings report. we got ALV, ALV looking lower here this morning. BMI, BMI looking higher, trying to push up just a little bit. Nice little cup pattern in here. If this were to cup and then continue to rest in a little handle pattern, that would be a bullish pattern to be paying attention to. Um, CMA, whoops, CMA. Um, looking for a pullback here after earnings reports, uh, maybe coming into some support areas here. So watch that carefully. A um, little back and forth here. Um, Fifth Third Bank will be reporting. Looks like they um, had a little bit of a whipsaw in here so far this morning, but trying to push back up. Halliburton, Halliburton may be pulling back here, but boy, this is a nice um, change in this chart, assuming we can hold some price support after this big, strong move to the upside. Hold some price support, that would set up an upside opportunity. Um, H-Band reporting today, and that thing is uh, really moving to the upside, breaking through resistance levels. So this will be an important report. I'm not sure we've gotten it here this morning on that, but watch that carefully. Regions, Regions Financial has also been very strong, ripping here to the upside, breaking through, just kind of tearing it up. So keep an eye on that. Any rest or pullback would set up an opportunity. It looks like we got maybe a little bit of a morning star type pattern starting to form up there. Um, Schlumberger, Schlumberger, another um, oil stock, made a nice move here to the upside, breaking through some resistance. Nice little higher low coming in there. I think any rest or pullback in here sets up an opportunity in Schlumberger. And um, Travelers. Travelers Insurance has been, uh, had a little bit of a rough spell here um, after um, a full year of just really running to the upside. Had a little tough spell, but now it looks like we're back on track for some upside and showing some bullishness here in the market. So those are your earnings reports for today. Um, all in the morning, there are no notable earnings for this afternoon. So, how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today? But before we do that, everyone, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you'd please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that favor, and that would be click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. And I want to say thank you so much to everyone who does do that. You guys are truly awesome, and I really, really do appreciate it. You guys humble me every day with your kind comments. So thank you so much for the kind support of the channel and the content. It really means a lot to me. Let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up. And remember, everyone, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You need to do your own due diligence and just realize the volatility of this market is pretty darn extreme. So make sure you're planning your trades very carefully based on your trading rules and your risk tolerances in this market. Never, ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas. Well, first off, let's take a look. I put a price alert on TLT. I, I am holding TLT as a longer term position. Uh, let me go to a weekly and you can see we've broken that downtrend, tried to put in that higher low in here. So I am interested in what's going on in this stock and um, looking or bonds and looking for that opportunity that I may add to this trade. I've got a small position in here and looking to make a bigger. But as you can see, um, pulling back here pretty substantially today. So with that pullback, come on. For some reason, give me just a second. For some reason, my drawing tools got stuck there. Um, so I am looking for that opportunity here to uh, look for an upside move. And if we take a look at the daily, pretty substantial pullback here today. So the real question is, will it hold the support? I will have no problem with it slipping past this trend as long as it stays in this consolidating area here. Um, and I'll be looking for that next opportunity to find an entry. But if it does break this support, well, then we're back into that process 
that we need to come back up and prove to hold before I'm going to be interested in any long trade in that. So watch TLT carefully. Take a look at IBM. IBM, um, this was an original alert in here. I was suggesting that opportunity that that might push up here, test the the, um, uh, the gap here, finish filling that, and we ended up zooming right on through um, that move through this neck into this next level. And now we're getting that little rest or consolidation. So watch how this is building that little resting pullback into here toward the trend. I would be looking for that next opportunity to the upside on IBM. Keep an eye on Shell. Shell continues to bang its head against this resistance in here, but we're really not breaking down. I would look for that opportunity. If we can build enough energy in here, we might push on through it. We have certainly seen some of those oil st uh, stocks um, really uh, make some nice moves here lately. And, um, whoops. And, um, well, for Pete's sake, there we go. If I could type the right symbol, man, I must have Friday-itis or something here this morning. Uh, Fang is another one of those um, looking really, really good here in the market, breaking through some um, resistance in that chart, that little nice little resting pattern in here on Fang. I would watch for that next opportunity that that might push on through to the upside. Certainly looks uh, very, very bullish here in the chart and so it shows no sign of that changing here at the moment. So uh, keep an eye on that. Uh, CRM, CRM has been an interesting chart here um, and pulling back to this support. I do have a little concern in here because we made a lower high in that chart and we're rejecting this resistance but if we can hold this area of support we might start seeing that that move back up but i would be watching this as that opportunity if we were to fail in here there may be um, another move to the downside coming in crm take a look at amd boy amd we zoomed up here and here's one of those examples why we have to wait for that higher low to come into play. Um, I talk about that all the time, but we zoomed up here and then we gave it all back up. They jerked the carpet out from underneath that and anyone who chased that move is probably really disappointed at the moment um, and licking their wounds from um, some big losses. But watch this carefully. If it can hold some support in here, we might build that bottom here yet and uh, try to push back up but if this breaks this support in here i would be watching for some new lows possibly even coming in amd so uh, keep a close eye on that let's take a look at google um, google um, also showing that little bit of a problem breaking down we broke this support, initial support in here we created that lower high then we followed on through breaking some additional levels of price support. So what I would be cautioning everyone on, and this is anything in tech right now, anything that has this little pattern with that lower high, it, as we rally back up, watch for these resistance levels up here and watch these areas for that potential short. If those bears really start to gain some energy here, those are the areas that you want to be looking for and they could show up in literally any chart um, as strong as um, Microsoft um, has been here um, just the, the mega run that this thing has made you can see that same problem occurring here where we moved down and we consolidated a little bit couldn't find enough energy and then we fail uh, fell on through testing some some bigger support here in the chart i would look for that rally to occur but remember we broke this downtrend so we've kind of got that double whammy of resistance up in here to be watching and that potential that we could just come right up into there and find some additional selling now of course these big tech earnings reports are coming and that could change everything here in the market depending on how they report but until we see that happen, there's likely going to be some anticipation of good earnings.
but that rally back up could just bring bring us right back up into that downtrend and pose some pretty substantial danger going into those earnings reports so be really really cautious and careful so with that everyone i want to wish you all a fantastic day and also hope you all have a wonderful weekend hope you um, get a chance to rest enjoy some time with your family remember the market will still be here monday morning y'all take care be safe i'll see you right back here bright and early monday morning and as always, I wish you all the very, very best.